What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again, and we are back for another thoughts and opinions video on some new dinosaur figure releases, and today we are going to be doing on the Safari 2019 figures. We have six of them that have been released, um, uh, strewn across Spino Dude Reviews, Kayakosaurus, and Bionicle Source's channels respectively. Um, they each got two figures that they got to reveal to the public. They all have unboxing videos out um, throughout the video as we're talking about each of them. They will be up in the top right corner. Uh, there will be a little card uh, linking to the those videos and also in the description you can also find the, the links to those videos so I have sat on these figures just for a little bit to give me a proper feeling for them however I do want to make a quick disclaimer I, I think that it's a strong point to make this has been made by my friend Spino Dude Reviews and I really agree with him on this uh, that you should definitely hold off your entire judgment uh, on a figure until you get it in hand um, however with that said I uh, do want to share my thoughts and opinions on these figures however I do not intend to harm or offend Safari in any way or anybody who is a fan of any of these figures um, when I'm criticizing them um, I'm just trying to be constructive this is an important thing to do for us because Safari needs to hear our criticism so that they know that what we want and uh, what they need to be fixing they have clearly been listening to us last year we were come saying a lot about the color schemes and stuff that, and just overall with Safari we've been telling them that we're uh, their color schemes have been a little lacking for a lot of figures and so they have really listened to us and this year they have delivered um, with that so this is a reason why you want to be constructive in your your critic criticisms um, and give Safari this feedback. So without further ado, let's move into these figures. Now first off, we have the two figures revealed by Spino Dude Reviews, his unboxing video. You can see it is already up on his channel. Now I want to start off with the Carnotaurus. Uh, the Carnotaurus is the figure that I ha feel the least strongly with. I uh, it, don't get me wrong, it is a very nice figure, it has some great detail, and the color scheme is fantastic. I really love the color scheme, despite the fact that the hash marks on the side of its torso do look kind of cheesy. Um, I really do love the color scheme and what they're going for there, so I think they made a huge improvement um, on their uh, their Theropod color schemes here. So I really do love that. But with that said, I do want to get into my main criticisms here. I have quite a few problems. Um, my biggest problem by far is the size. This thing is around 10 inches long, according to Spine dude and that is about the size of the 2017 the feathered tyrannosaurus rex like in length that is ridiculous this thing sizes up pretty accurately um next to the amargosaurus from 2018 which i am a huge fan of amargosaurus it's my favorite sauropod and i was extraordinarily disappointed when i found out just how big it was because it just stuck out so much on my shelf um or on on the shelf with the other figures um from the videos that i've seen and stuff i have actually held off on getting it i don't have it yet i still want to get it i'm holding off on getting it because I kind of don't want to get it because I don't want to support Safari for making a figure like that because this the size just sticks out so much and in a negative way I don't want a figure to stand out um, so much on my shelf and feel like it's not fitting in or detract from the rest of my collection and that's definitely what something like a figure like that does it's just really unfortunate um, that they've decided to do that and I was really hoping it would stop with the Amargosaurus after all the feedback from it but clearly Safari has not gotten the message and they have made this Carnotaurus absurdly large and I really don't like that. Um, I don't. I don't like the size of it. Um, I really think that they need to stop. This is. Um, it's just it, the Carnotaurus. We already had the Carnegie Carnotaurus overly sized, um, but this one is even worse, and it's just really disappointing. Uh, however, there are a couple more issues with it. There's inconsistencies with the detail on it. If you go to see a Spino Dude's review on it, which is already out, get on the description or in the top right corner right now, you will see when he zooms in on the figure that the scales actually stop in many areas, and there's a bunch of flat bits, so it's very inconsistent on the figure. But also, there's a lot of proportional issues. Overall, the figure is very bulky and not very sleek for Carnotaurus. Uh, we know it was uh, very sleek, and uh, scientists actually like calling it the Cretaceous Cheetah. That's kind of the 
uh, the term for it, and it was extremely fast, uh, possibly the fastest dinosaur ever. And so they really are misrepresenting it here. It reminds me of the Disney dinosaur, Disney's the dinosaur um, Carnotaurus more than anything. Um, its head is 1.5 to two times the size it should be. It's extraordinarily large. It's very bulky. The arms are very uh, big. The fingers are very splayed out. The feet are extra extraordinarily large and just fat. Um, they don't look right. And the tail doesn't have the very large cotyphemoralis muscle, which is the large muscle that attaches to the back of the leg and actually uses it as like a piston to propel the animal forward and makes it like a train just charging at it. so that it's it's very uh this is a bad picture but you can see it in uh on spider dude's channel the, the the tail is very thin and definitely very inappropriate for this animal so there's a lot of inaccuracies for this animal which is very surprising from safari and i was this is one of the figures that i felt like was going to be safe if safari ever made it because i had confidence in them but they've let me down um in that respect that they have put this animal into a very stereotypical uh depiction of carnotaurus um, with that said it's still is a decent figure. It's de definitely not a bad figure at any respect. Um, I definitely, I don't know if I like it, to be honest. Um, I, I might even have, uh, the, the, the end where I don't really like it. Yet again, I, the size is my main issue. If it was smaller, I'd be more forgiving about it, but the size is just ridiculous. I, I hope the Safari doesn't continue making the figures like this. So without further ado, let's go on to the next one. The Wooly Rhino looks fantastic. It's just absolutely amazing. Don't really have to say too much on it. Um, it just looks really great. It holds up to the Mastodon and the Deodon. Um, I really want to see it in hand to see how it compares. Spino Dude says that it may even be better than both of those, so I'm really excited. A, cu a couple nitpicks, um, uh, Spino Dude actually pointed this out, um, from his friend that pointed out to him. Uh, we have cave paintings of, uh, Wooly Rhinos showing a band going, uh, vertically from the top of its back to the, its belly right in front of the hind leg that was present on the cave art drawings of Wooly Rhinos, so they don't, the fact that they don't have that there could be considered an inaccuracy. It's not too big for me. The horns are a little lacking on detail. My main thing that I have a nitpick with is that there's way too little bare skin at the face. We have preserved woolly rhinos in ice, and there was always more bare skin at the front of the face um, than there is on this uh, individual here. There's just a bare skin around the nostril and the eyes. There should be bare skin from the nostrils all the way to the eyes from what I've seen on them. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty confident in that. Um, but anyways, those are just minor nitpicks. Other, other than that, it's basically a flawless figure, so I'm really happy to see that one, and I can't wait to get it in hand. I'm really happy that they're making some more Cenozoic stuff. Next up, we have Kayakosaurus's figures. Now, he got a Styracosaurus and a City Patty. Styracosaurus, I am so happy. This is one of the figures that I was uh, asking for in my top 10 wanted uh, for Safari 2019 video, and I'm so happy they have delivered. We needed this guy, and they have listened to us on the color for the Ceratopsians. This is a beautiful figure, absolutely phenomenal. Not much I could say. There are a couple little nitpicks of the face and missymmetry on the face that Kayakosaurus has pointed out. Um, you can see that in his video, but other than that, I have, like, no gripes with it. I just absolutely adore that figure. Um, fantastic. Thank you so much for making that safari. The City Patty, I didn't really like it first. It rubbed me the wrong way. It still has that cartoony look, uh, that, that Anzu has, but I actually ended up grow- it just grow, grew on me really fast, and I actually like it way more than the Anzu, and I have the Anzu, but I'm really looking forward to getting this one in hand. Uh, the, the, the wings look a little too thick, the plastic looks a little too thick, and the, the tail, um, primary feathers look a little too thick, but other than that, I like the tail fan. Other than that, it's fine, and I really love how bright the colors are, but they're very hazy, so they look naturalistic. There's a couple birds that were pointed out to me by uh, Dino Man and Spino Dude uh, that this uh, city patty resembled. Either way, it looks like a modern-day bird, and I really adore the figure, and I can't wait to get it in person and see how great it is. But yeah, those two figures I'm very happy with. Next up, we have Bionicle Source's two figures that he had gotten first one is the Presto Sucus. Now, at first, I was very disappointed uh, that we had gotten another, basically, a, a Postosuchus clone. For me, there's not enough differences to justify this one. Um, however, when I did realize that it's been 10 years since we had gotten a last Postosuchus, um, I am okay with the fact that this is here. I'm not really as upset with it anymore. I don't like the color scheme, to be honest. I, I like the colors they chose. I really loved it on the Agricanthosaurus, um, but I don't like the spots. The spots rub me the wrong way. They, they kind of remind me of the spots on the, the Spinosaurus from Collecta. So I'm not I'm not too huge of a fan of this figure. Uh, the detail looks uh, great, um, but I'm going to probably hold off on getting this one for a while. I just, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool that they're showing some uh, mid-Triassic 
um, Archosaurs some love. I'm, I really wish that they went with a Desmatosuchus or something like that um, instead of this one. I think that would have been far more interesting of an animal to make, but nonetheless we have this, so I'm not going to complain too much as long as we get a lot more figures for this year. Other than that, I might complain about the fact that it's taking up a slot for something else, particularly an Allosaurus. I really want us to get an Allosaurus. If we get a Carno, and I, this, the, how much I dislike this Carno, and we don't get an Allosaurus, I'm going to throw a fit, because <laughs> we really need an Allosaurus. And finally, the Camrosaurus, um, also revealed by Bionicosaurus. When I first saw this from uh, Bionicosaurus' first image that he released of it, it looked really bad. Um, like they had like no detail and when I finally saw it in his video that held up um, it doesn't have much detail it didn't look too great the paint wasn't uh, you know impressing me very much however as time is sitting on me and after I found this picture here in this amazing lighting I was like, wow, it actually looks a lot better. It has a lot more um, wrinkles in it, and the pose from, just, the pose is amazing. As soon as I saw the pose, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. But also, we don't have to freaking try to find that old Carnegie um, Camerasaurus anymore that's expensive and hard to find. We don't need that old thing. We can get this one now. Um, and so I'm really happy with that because I love my Morrison formation animals, so finally we have a Camerasaurus. I really hope that we're going to start um, getting a lot more Morrison stuff, in particular Allosaurus. Um, but... Yeah, so, so far I'm really loving this 2019 line. Still, it's not holding up to the 2017 status, for sure. Uh, we're gonna have to see the rest of the lineup. Um, and I don't know if I like it as much as the 2018 line yet, because there's not enough of it released, but I definitely love the Camarasaurus. The Pestasuchus is good, um, at least it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The Styracosaurus is amazing, the City Patty is really uh, growing on me, even though I don't really... I wish that they didn't do another Oviraptorian. Um, I wish that they went with a Orn Ornithomimid or some kind of Iguanodontid, like, uh, Dryosaurus, something small like that. Dryosaurus, Leonolosaura, Othnelia, or Dromius, something like that. I think those animals are very under represented and desperately need to be represented so I really hope that we're gonna get one of those this year or they're gonna stop giving us over Raptorians and they're gonna start giving them us from uh, those from now on because over Raptorians have gotten a lot more love than those uh, other ones so uh, they don't they're not really in desperate need of it then the woolly rhino looks fantastic I'm glad they're bringing back some Cenozoic stuff I hope there's a little bit less this year if they're not gonna be separating the Cenozoic stuff from the, the Mesozoic and Paleozoic stuff um, which I don't think they are so I hope we get a little less this year just because I kind of want some more dinosaurs to make up for last year. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the Carnotaurus, the less I talk about that, the happier I am. Um, yeah, so pretty pretty solid line this year, um, except for the Carnotaurus. I really am upset about the Carnotaurus, but hopefully it'll be better in hand when I get it eventually. And if not, then... Then uh, Safari made another dud for me, so uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please tell me what your guys' thoughts of any of these uh, figures are. Uh, how are your thoughts on just the, over the line overall so far? And which are your favorites? And what are you hoping that we are going to get um, for the rest of this year, um, for 2019. We're definitely gonna be getting some more revealed pretty dang soon, um, but not in the ways that we've been, these three have been, or these six have been revealed, so, uh, definitely keep an eye out, uh, they're gonna be revealed pretty soon, so, so I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this didn't rub anybody in, uh, in the wrong way, and if, if for some reason Safari's watching my video, then I hope you're not offended by my thoughts on these figures, I adore you Safari, you're my favorite company, and that's why I'm very firm about, um, uh, you guys being on top of the stuff and when you guys make stuff like this Carnotaurus it really disappoints me so um, I really hope you guys stop making these larger figures um, and I hope uh, that you guys stay on top of your accuracy a little bit more uh, with this especially since you guys lacked in theropods from last year um, and uh, the year before that was pretty big uh, this was a pretty sad comeback if I'm being honest um, I'm not really impressed with this Carnotaurus but uh, I hope that uh, the rest of the year holds up to most of these figures here, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay.